Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Fishing Planet and I'm almost level 63 and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the leveling at the moment in the game, uh, about the DLCs, uh, because I'm thinking that we are coming close to uh, the edge of the game. I think uh, that we are coming uh, to a point that there is going to be harm for the game. Uh, because I got a lot of feedback uh, from guys that uh, are on my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm following it for like a part. Uh, I don't follow the guys that are always saying it's a free-to-play game and blah, blah, blah. No, uh, just buy premium, level it out. But now the main problem is it's so much, it's becoming so much experience that at some point they need to do something. So, uh, yeah. So what is the biggest problem? So at the moment, uh, I need... Uh, so I almost farmed 800,000 experience and I still need to farm like five, 600,000 more. Uh, that's a lot of farming because yesterday I was totally fucked up. I was like, I don't want to play this game anymore. It was 22 hours with premium. Uh, so the farm is very big and I think that's a very big problem because if you start now the game, you're fucked. Uh, so if you want to do it only with premium and I think that premium is more than enough. Uh, for this game, it's around 7, 8 euros. If you take 6 months premium like me, that's 30 to 40 euros. That's a nice amount of money. Uh, so I'm not really a guy that say, okay, you need to buy the DLC, but I'm a guy you need to buy premium. I can understand that. That's not a problem. But now at the moment, even with premium, the, the farm is getting way too high. And you cannot expect that everybody always buys the DLC. The DLC of Blue Crab, the DLC of Bolivia, the DLC of uh, Peru, uh, the DLC of the UK. I'm not even sure that is a DLC because now that's like 100 euros that you need to pay. That's a lot of money. So there is something very wrong at the moment uh, with the leveling. So... Uh, what can they do? They can maybe do what Wo is doing, World of Warcraft with Shadowlands. So they had a little bit the same problem. So they are now at level 120. But in Shadowlands, they are going back to level 50. I see it a lot in games. I think once they did it in this game too, because if this game started, you could level as high as you want. But then with, with the update, they went to level 40. Uh, so you can do that at some point, because I think that the levels that you need to gain... To get unlocked everything is way too much too. So 60 to 65. It's always 5 levels. I think with 3 levels it's enough. Uh, so I think that's more than enough. Because you need to remember that Brazil is coming. Let's say that's level 70. That's a lot of levels. Another thing that is uh, not so good are the DLCs. I was watching the DLC because I wanted to buy the DLC. But... They bring a DLC for Bolivia and 50-60% of the DLC you cannot use. I will show you guys what I mean with it. So, yeah, it's, it's crazy because I'm not sure who is inventing those DLCs, but I never go into pay. The only thing that I want is a pond pass to go to Bolivia. So I think in the future, just make a pond pass, just ask 10 euros, I pay for it. I pay for 10 euros that I can go to Bolivia. I think that's a fair price because it's a new lake. Uh, it's, it's, it's four to five months work that they need to do. But 10 euros is more than enough. Just make a pond pass. But if you check the latest DLC. So let's have a look. Um, is it this? Yeah, this is the latest DLC. So, okay, bait coins. Okay, credits 40,000. Okay, yeah, here it already starts. 40,000 credits. Yeah, what can you do with 40,000 credits? You need to pay like, I think, 18,000 to go there. And I think with uh, with uh, license, I think you already pay more than this. So I don't understand that. Then the next one, then they give a bottom rod. A bottom rod that is 31 kilograms. So if you go to the shop and you check the, the, the rod. So here you can see it. So the biggest one is 33. So they don't even give the best rot, the highest rot. I don't understand that. Just if you pay real money, give the people the 65 one so that they got the best gear in the, in the, the game. Because you got now this one, but once that you go to six, level 65, you just buy the best gear. That's how it works and that's how a lot of people do it. So that's 
what I mean. So they give gear, but it's not good gear. That's the main problem. So if we go back to the the, the, the DLC. So then next one, the real is just the same. Okay, you get like a boat. That's true. But then all the other stuff. Yeah. What is this? Sinkers, uh, bell. Uh, yeah. And then the hooks. If you give something, make it barbless for experience. I don't have a clue why they give hooks that are not barbless with the DLC. That is another mistake. So it's totally full with mistakes. I don't know. Like I said, 60-70% is crew. Yeah, it's, it's not worth it. This, okay, you get the new baits. Uh, but I think this unlocks, uh, no, at level 65. So you get a little bit the high level baits. And then we come to the net. The first time that I saw this, I was like, are they joking? <laughs> so you go to the high end map, the highest map. You got fish that are 70 kilograms. Uh, you got a net in the game that is 500 kilograms. And you give in your DLC a net that can handle 250 kilograms. I saw this and I was like, yeah, now they are really joking. Uh, so just give the 500 kilogram net again. Just give the biggest net that you can get in the game. Everybody got the 500 kilogram that is at this level. Uh, so just give it. If people want to buy it, just give the highest level. What can you do with it, this net? You need to imagine that you're level 45. You buy this DLC. So you go to Bolivia and after like one hour, two hours fishing, your net is full. You think by yourself what I'm doing here. So you need to use a bait gun to forward the time. So what this net, it's unbelievable that they even put this in this DLC. I, I was really, this is shameful in my opinion. That is just laughing with people. I cannot say more about it. The, the rest of the stuff is, uh, yeah, a little bit more buoys, a little bit, yeah, slots, because otherwise you need to pay bait coins again. But then this is very important. This is the most important in my eyes, because what are you going to do? Ex your level 45 or your level 40, what are you going to do? You cannot fish for the catfish with this, with one rod, because I'm not sure where you get the heavy chasers. So it's such a trap for, for so many people. It's unbelievable. And they pay 25 euros for it. So that's a really big problem. How can you solve this problem? I already told uh, the how you can solve it. First of all, give more rods. Give like three rods. Give the best rods. Uh... Yeah, give a decent net. That's very important. The baits is okay. Give barbless hook because people are going to level because you are not level 63 if you buy the DLC. Because why would you ever buy a DLC if you're level 63? And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, so Or give a pond pass that is like 10 euros. Uh, so... That's what, uh, that was a little bit my thoughts on it, because I never look at DLCs, uh, but now, because the grind was so big, because this is 30 euros, because the grind was so big, I, I looked at it, because I wanted to go to Bolivia too, because I just wasted now my time, it's just a waste of time, but then I saw all the stuff in the, the DLC, and I said, yeah, who is making those DLCs? That's unbelievable. It's it's if you're a guy that don't know a lot about the game, you're fucked. You're totally fucked. You buy this, you go to Bolivia, and you're fucked. That's how it is. It's 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 the DLC for Bolivia, but you're fucked if you buy it. So uh yeah, that was a little bit my thoughts about it, guys, because at some point, uh yeah, it's going to harm the game. If I see all the, the stuff that our people are posting. I think at some point, uh, yeah, why would you start leveling? Uh, if if you want just new players to buy a DLC and then say fuck you to the game uh, because yeah they don't like the DLC, okay, I can understand it, but at some point you're going to lose a lot of players. I think at the end, uh, you always need to think very carefully what you are doing because I, I see it in other games too. If you go over the edge, I don't think that they are now on the edge. I think the next time, if we get like, if they don't do anything about the problems that I just said, I think the next time they are going to be in trouble. Uh, because what I always do is why I don't buy a DLC, uh, because I want to feel how the leveling feels. Because I know a lot about the game and I even think at the moment that they are going too far. Uh, 
so, but I gave a couple of solutions. I cannot do more, guys. It's just my two cents. If they do it, they do it. If they don't do it, yeah. I cannot do a lot about it. But, yeah, that are my thoughts. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you later. Have fun. The next video uh, I'm going to be, uh, I hope, in Bolivia. Uh, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.